लैमिगनी हैज अ वेरी फनी स्टोरी बिकॉज यू नो इट्स मेड बाय द दूरबीन बॉयज रिटन एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द सॉन्ग इज कम्पोज ऑल्सो बाय दैम आई केम ऑन एज अ कोलेबोरेटर एज अ सिंगर फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट उस टाइम पे मेरे लाइफ में फोक काफी था लैम्बिगिनी हैपन टू बी अ फोक इज वेल सी आई बी ऑनेस्ट विद यू विच आर्टिस्ट विल बी हैप्पी इफ देर अब सॉन्ग गेट्स पिक्ट अप एंड देन समबडी एल्स सिंग आई वॉज वेरी वेरी सैड द फैक्ट दैट हनी सिंह ऑल्सो सेड दैट ही डेंट नो uh i didn't feel bad about it i'll be very honest with you and that's how that reel came about it's yes. a funny reel right yes. and I, when i made it 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 never came to me that you know it's going to it's going to go viral and people are going to tag honey singh and <laughs> tell him everybody was singing um, lata ji songs i've also sung them Thank but you. i kind of always paved my path to a sudhi johan song Welcome to News 18 Sosha. I am Yathamani Narayan, and I am with Ragni Tandon, who is not only known for her viral hit song Lamborghini, but a slew of beautiful India hits like you know Noor, Full Cut, to name a few. So today we are going to talk about her inspiring musical journey and more. Welcome to the show, Ragni. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm also. I'm also doing good. So you know, I mean, this year you released four diverse tracks. Uh, Noor has a modern Sufi feel. Uh, Kanakia brings a festive romantic vibe. Tak Tak is quite groovy, and you know. Chaida Ine has a had had R and B influences. So, what's the story behind these tracks, and how do you approach uh shaping raw sounds into polished songs? Yeah, uh, my my main uh focus is uh making good music, whatever genre it is. Right. For me, um, you know, I've trained in Hindustani classical since I was four years old. Right. So, uh, anything that comes to me at that time, uh, as long as it feels like it's good after a little while. I yeah. I make that, but uh, in terms of genre, uh, till now I've been you know working on a lot of genres, uh, yes. finding my audience and looking for the audience that likes the kind of music that I make. Right. Um. So it's difficult to choose for me specifically that you know this is one genre that I want. But recently I've been thinking about going into you know this specific thing that I really really enjoy. Okay. Um. It's a it's a jazzy soft. Oh. uh soft and romantic usually or sad mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. everything that works around this kind of vibe is what my zone is is what i've come to realize right. so i think in the future um my whenever i make an ep uh, which is already in process right uh, it's going to be around that genre right 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 so you know i mean lamborghini became a massive hit so can you walk us through what inspired you to take that traditional punjabi tappa and you know give it a modern urban touch and how did it feel when it went viral <laughs> uh lamborghini has a very funny story because uh, you know it's made by the durbin boys written yeah. and uh, the rest of the song is composed also by them yeah. um i came on as a collaborator as a singer for the project and they contacted me through instagram cuz uh, weirdly you know these are songs that we used to sing bachpan se you know ghar ki shaadiyon mein ga rahe hain and uh, my whole family loves music so they really really enjoy uh, you know dholki ke sath baith ke you're singing and all of these songs that's how i already knew uh, this tappa cuz i've mm-hmm. heard it so many times across functions and uh, all of those things so so it was extremely nice to you know hear this kind of a take on that on uh, that tappa that specific chitta kukkar bani rahe the uh modern modern vibe to it yeah. so uh usse pehle weirdly uh, it's it's a coincidence i think that i already had another folk song that i had remade while yeah. i was in college which yeah. was nahi jana so <laughs> i feel like it's it's like an influence already that you know influence on the kind of uh, songs i make also and that time us time pe mere life mein folk kafi tha okay and lamborghini happened uh, to be a folk as well right and uh, that's the story yeah they contacted me after listening to nai jana is what i think <laughs> but as a singer i used to post a lot of uh, other things uh, on right. instagram so they heard me and they said would you like to collaborate and why would i say no right. <laughs> you know I, i'm as a singer it's uh, recording is only at that time i was you know fairly new and i was right. not doing any professional recording as such right. so that's how it happened and i said yeah and they happened to be my neighbors in delhi and we had a blast over a weekend they corrected all my punjabi <laughs> lyrics <laughs> 
because uh, my punjabi is not very good right. i have to practice a lot to be singing that kind of uh, perfect punjabi ye to right. urban hai ab to sare kafi punjabi ga diye maine <laughs> but yeah that's the story around it right right but i mean how did you feel when you know neha kakkar and jessie gil were chosen for the remake of this song and uh, do you think the remake captured the essence of your original version see i'll be honest with you uh, which artist will be happy if their song gets picked up and then somebody else sings yeah. it i was very very sad right. <laughs> but uh, good good it, for not being so diplomatic here yeah. yeah i mean it's right. it's <laughs> i think it's human emotion and yes. there is nothing to lie about here right. it was upsetting initially because i had uh, professionally gotten into um, you know yeah. singing as as my career mm-hmm. um uh but it's i think it's a, it's it, it with time you uh, get uh, acquainted with these it, kind of uh, things when you're a part of the industry and these things happen it's okay right, right. you know and and also i i i think if uh, if that the new version of lamborghini would have done that well i think uh, uh, it would have been a different scenario but mm-hmm. it did Our yeah. version was is much much bigger. Still trending, yeah. It's still trending. Yeah. <laughs> so there was a little bit. Uh, uh, of course, the essence was not the same. It was very very different. Right. Uh, but uh, again, for an artist, a new artist who's trying to make their place in the industry, if a uh, if a bigger label uh, picks your song up for a movie, it's amazing already, right? Right. Right. You know, right. because they did that, there was a lot of. Uh, um, talks going around that you know why didn't they take the original yeah. singer oh no the other lamborghini was better oh no this is better <laughs> so it's it's like it's okay it it's fun and uh, we get used to it and we accept it and we make, move on and make new stuff so i mean in a recent interaction i mean yoyo hani singh also publicly acknowledged that he didn't know you were the original singer behind the song so how right. did it feel uh, like one of the biggest names in the in the in the industry such made such an honest uh, admission about uh, this particular song. I think it's extremely um uh, uh important these days uh, this topic of you know credits or finding the artist that you actually like it's a it's a really big uh, problem that's going on because there are so many songs that we really really love but we never um as an artist myself sometimes we just don't realize that we don't know who is singing this man right. uh, but it's such a lovely beautiful song and you know you should you should know who you're who you're liking so that you can yeah. find that other music as well right um but the fact that hani singh also said that he didn't know uh i didn't feel bad about it i'll be very honest with you and that's how that reel came about it's yes. a funny reel right yes. and I, I, when i made it 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 never came to me that you know it's going to it's going to go viral and people are going to tag hani singh and <laughs> tell him and uh today i feel like okay maybe this was a step ahead and hani singh is my you know angel <laughs> angel who's who's push going to push me now in this way Right. and i got that push and it's it was it's very nice that the audience is now finding you and through that reel because of lamborghini and then people are going to my profile and subscribing to my youtube and looking at the other songs that i've done and right. messaging me about it it's it's really nice to uh, watch your audience actually find you right but it's you know it's quite rare for such a well known artist to publicly admit a mistake so what do you think his gesture says about him as an artist and, and as a person I think it's very very brave for him to actually go on social media and Instagram uh to say that I'm really sorry I didn't know. Uh I really appreciate the fact that he did that and the fact that because he did that is why people also more people came to the uh, profile looking right. for his comment and then my reply on his comment. Uh right. it's not easy for an artist to do that. To admit uh, it. Honestly, and i think it just speaks a thousand words about him and yeah. we've been big fans since we were kids i remember so many of his songs <laughs> i can't tell you by heart <laughs> but uh, yeah it just it and he he's he's the og man there is just no discussion and uh, whether it, it's songs and now he's told us he's a great guy and uh, kudos to him <laughs> right 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 so i mean what do you think about the relationship between india and mainstream uh, artists in india i mean is there enough collaboration and support or is there still a gap that needs to be bridged there is a big gap i'll mm. be uh, very upfront about this there is a huge huge gap and the fact that people don't find these indie artists because we are only looking for our audience on spotify on apple and you know you're constantly releasing stuff and looking for the audience to look for us yeah uh 
when it comes to the in mainstream artists who are already on the top it's very mm -hmm. easy uh, for them to keep going because they have so much push behind them exactly um, for me uh, an a great example is that is you know how to bridge this gap is something that i keep thinking and every time coke studio comes to my mind cuz uh, pakistan coke studio uh, phenomenal it's beautiful it's phenomenal and there is no question about it but there is this, this small thing that they did last year i think when mm -hmm. the, the pasuri pasuri yeah 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 they picked up indie artists smaller artists good artists and combined them with bigger artists she shegel is an example of shegel that. and ali sethi are the biggest yeah. example of that yeah. and and i think if if something like this uh, can happen in india you know right. why wouldn't we do it more music more ideas more voices to be heard right. uh, there are so many plus points to it and i think this is something that we as an industry should work on because i feel like uh, one big point is that you know we also gain from each others mm -hmm. uh, uh plus points and and celebrations for me like for example as an artist i if i get a song in a playlist mm -hmm. and that playlist specifically there's another song that's doing really really well yeah will happen to find my song on that playlist also okay so they're going to that playlist to find that one song per second pe aapka hai aapka hai so automatically unko milega milega so, so we're all you know winning with each other together so right. it's, it's something that needs to be thought about <laughs> as artists uh, uh, bigger artists indie artists small artists everybody mm -hmm. but i mean what more changes would you like to see uh, in the indian music industry to you know sub to support indie artists in a better way in an organic way organically to indie artists ko khud hi support karna padta hai apne aap ko but uh, uh, matlab yaar it's more about this is uh, one biggest thing that can be done that you know new artists need need to be looked at and picked up for songs for bollywood songs or by by our directors and composers and producers of the industry the biggest of the biggest right. who are doing all film songs right. <laughs> you know all the labels need to be more uh, approachable they are approachable but you know what i mean so right. <laughs> labels need to have better deals for indie artists so that they also uh, you know believe in them to go to them to release their baby a right. song for an like for a singer for a composer uh, for all kinds of artists our songs are our babies and we really love our songs and we want the world <laughs> to listen to them in the best way possible yeah. and this is uh, something that uh, the industry or whoever i mean uh, our directors our composers other singers other famous singers uh, we need or or a product like coke studio Right. So I mean, like you mentioned, you started learning Hindustani classical music at a very ten, like at the age of three, I guess. So how has your classical training influenced your style in you know modern Punjabi pop music? Yeah, me. Ra, so now, honestly, I tell you, so I mean, childhood, me, I started when I was four, and I learned till I was like eighteen, nineteen. In college, also, I was doing a lot. Still, that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then uh, in Delhi University, also, I was in the Hindustani classical. Uh, um a club society society uh so in of my college so so classical is definitely uh, very very uh, important to me that way because a lot of my music is influenced by what i've learned and jo mere jo zehen mein baith jata hai na yaar saalo saal practice karke there are songs that i used to sing when i was 6 mm -hmm. and i can still sing them the same way वो बैठ गया गले में हमने प्रैक्टिस कर ली है उसकी वो वो कहीं नहीं जाएगा फॉर ऑल माय लाइफ पर या अलॉर्ड माय सॉन्ग्स आर इन्फ्लुएंस बाय दैट बट दैट बीइंग सेड आई हैव बीन रियली वर्किंग हार्ड टू पुश माय सेल्फ इनटू द पॉप वाइब ऑफ व्हाट द म्यूजिक इज टुडे बट इट ऑल्सो ऑलवेज हैज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हिंट ऑफ of what i am as a person which exactly. is which is what i've learned all my life so for me sur is very important if if i'm not able to uh, you know agar mera koi recording mein ek take theek nahi hai to wo mujhe wo cut copy paste mein zyada maza nahi aata nahi ha i like to, give, to get perfect you need to get it I, i i like to give a full a full line a full take but in cheezon ko ab cover up karne ke liye bahut cheeze aa gayi hain 
so there's uh, which is a little that hurts me the most that yeah. uh, you know we've all practiced and rehearsed all our, all our life to uh, get the sare gamas right yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, auto tune does the job today <laughs> sad yeah so i mean one of your early songs which is nahi jaan i mean it became a popular choice for brides so how do you feel about your music connecting with such you know personal and emotional moments in other people's life that they make it a part of their special moments it's very nice it feels really good so nejana is is it means you know it is a wedding song yeah. the meaning of that song is so beautiful that you know beautiful kya funny hai i would rather say that mai uske sath nahi jaungi mai uske sath nahi jaungi mai mummy ke sath rahungi na kre chal rahe hain us convincing me but when you make these songs you realize that the lyrics are very very connecting um with the with regular people with people whose lives who are going to experience these things in life any which way right yeah. there's weddings you experience in your family yours friends so many people so it feels very good when you when you actually land up making something that uh connects with so many people and weirdly lamborghini was also something like it's, it's become a wedding song wedding song and <laughs> <laughs> i have seen so many choreographies and uh, you know dance uh, videos of yeah. all of lamborghini uh which is a, was a surprise for me honestly i do, i did not understand how come lamborghini it trickled into the, <laughs> yeah trickled into all the sangeets of yeah. the world <laughs> it <laughs> was very confusing but but uh, i think it's just the connection i think and and that's what made it what it is nice. the ma- the wedding market <laughs> <laughs> nice so you know i mean with social media driving much of today's uh, music consumption i mean how do you deal uh, with the pressure of you no know, creating songs that are not just viral hits but also you know have some lasting significance to it oh it's extremely difficult um <laughs> uh, i've i've said this before but uh, social media is for 15 minute seconds 30 seconds one minute uh i've also i also made like one minute songs for oh, instagram okay. specifically at one time you mm-hmm. know um and uh, for an artist you know 20 30 40 second mein kuch nahi hota hai it's not creatively satisfying na <laughs> it's just not and it's not even honestly it's not even fun when people come to your profile see 12 seconds of your reel and leave Right. <laughs> but but that's what it is right these days uh, i and guilty as charged i also do that on so many reels you don't right. can't watch everything all the time right. so that creates a very very uh, difficult situation for artists indie artists specifically because for example if a big artist has sung a song people are going to go and listen to the whole thing right. and which way but if you right. don't know this artist you're going right. to judge it in the first 20 seconds nahi maza nahi aaya chai <laughs> so it's it is very difficult but i think the indie scene is really coming up now a uh, right. lot of indie artists are are growing and uh, organically specifically on their own channels right. and it is very very lovely to see and it's it's a motivation for artists like me i would like to say for from all the sides <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you know we're just looking at a few artists who have done well independently on their own uh, accord uh have done so well so i think we can also just continue persist and do it <laughs> do it correct so you have, you have also mentioned that sunidhi chauhan has been a huge inspiration for you i mean what specific aspects of her artistry you admire the most she is out of this world i i don't know i don't have proper words for her she's been my favorite since i was since i was a very very young girl um right. everybody was singing um lata ji songs i've also sung them right. but i kind of always paved my path to a suridhi johan song right um whether it was mansaat samandar dol gaya which is now coming back as a remake also right uh, you know that was my favorite 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 song and my family used to tell me please go and learn some other song <laughs> sing something <laughs> else so she she is like like an idol you know somebody right. you want to be like and and the most attractive thing about her is the fact that she has uh, sung songs of all genres right and done so well at right. it right right uh, whether it's a dance song whether it's a romantic song whether it's a ghazal she yeah, she's very versatile yeah, she she's very- fantastic and that's right. that's what i what i ultimately aim to be i want to be i want to have songs that are you know all genres kind of versatility vibe uh right. 
uh, which is extremely difficult in today's world she had a lot of film music uh, backing right. her at at when she started right uh, but yeah i i love her and she will always remain my idol especially after watching all these uh, show videos that she puts yeah, up oh the God. recently the benten uh, video went viral yeah goosebumps goosebumps <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. but i i happened to open for her a little while ago oh, which okay. was which was beautiful i i opened for her in doha it was a dream come true and the and the fact that i got to meet her after it was just absolutely lovely <laughs> right right so like you have admitted that uh, despite singing in punjabi you cannot speak or read the language fluently like you have admitted this before so how does this language dynamic affect your approach to you know singing and connecting with your audiences guilty as charged man <laughs> <laughs> i'm a punjabi but i don't know so our family speaks urdu uh, more urdu yeah. than punjabi yeah. although my parents and my grandparents are extremely fluent in punjabi right. it's weird and we ask them like me and my brother we right. ask our uh, ask our parents and grandparents continuously how come you never spoke to us in punjabi why <laughs> what happened <laughs> but uh, yeah it's it's a bit tough cuz uh, even the the i love punjabi music first of all yeah. um from from the diljeets to the aps <laughs> <laughs> all all songs i love uh, the 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 problem is that i have to go and understand like ex- get get the song explained first of all so what is he saying i'm not able to understand this and then i have to really learn rote learn karte hai na jo school mein hum ratta maarna padta hai mujhe if i want to sing that song because the pronunciation is extremely tough so you listen to the song 30 40 100 times and then you get a little gist of the actual accent otherwise it can you know that kind of accent can only come if you've been talking in punjabi since years and years and years when it comes to my music um i ha- i usually so most of my lyric my songs and the punjabi numbers that i sing are urban punjabi yeah so urban punjabi is where you don't have that punjabi theet accent yes but it's also a mixture of hindi punjabi and uh, recognizable by everyone yeah. by everyone correct yeah. so that's what lamborghini was and i think that's why this was the biggest reason of why it clicked with so many people because it's it's not just punjabi and it's not just hindi it has so many other uh, you know uh, elements of matlab pata nahi mera jo accent hai log kehte hain ki wo urban hai so that's okay. why <laughs> so so uh, so well, that's something that i do usually if i have a punjabi song that i'm doing um it's just rehearsal man it's a lot <laughs> a lot of rehearsal a lot of practice i get somebody who's fluent in that in punjabi and specifically those lyrics or the lyricist to continuously right. just send me voice notes of of how it's supposed to be pronounced and how it, the where are the nuances which is also something that is very very tough in punjabi so uh, ye sab rehearse kar kar ke kar kar ke kar kar ke and that's how we record it just takes double the time in the studio because if you're going wrong that's <laughs> very very tough <laughs> exactly take example hai lamborghini ki line mein aapko sunati hu to वो है ना सानू भी चूटा दे दो चूटा दे दो मीन्स टेक मी फॉर अ ड्राइव राइट पीपल थिंक सानू भी जूता दे दो दे दो सानू भी छोटा दे दो एंड आई आई रिमेम्बर वेन बी रिकॉर्डेड इट वॉज वेरी वेरी टैक्सिंग फॉर मी बिकॉज आई वॉज लाइक मैं बोल तो रही हूँ पर ठीक क्यों नहीं आ रहा है बट बाबा एंड ओंकार वर वेरी वेरी पेशेंट विद मी So uh I mean you studied psychology alongside your music career so do you think your background in psychology influences the very uh, the way you create your uh, music or the way you perform your music I think uh, m- the most important thing for me here is the kind of lyrics that I'm make- I'm putting mm. out mm. uh matlab har uh har gaane mein ek uh, specific kind of lyric hona matlab there are there's violence that can be promoted there's guns that can be promoted there's objectification that can be promoted misogyny yeah misogyny that, there are so many things that 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 our audience doesn't need at this time mm. and in a country like india where majority of our our audience is not that educated right uh, the, this kind of uh, music or i would say films or 
any kind of media that can be reached to to the whole country mm-hmm. should be extremely responsible of what they're putting out mm-hmm. um, so for me uh, when i was studying i i realized that i realized how much of these kind of, these kind of songs and this kind of these kind of topics can influence mm-hmm. uh, a child and mm-hmm. an elder person also mm-hmm. and and this influence is something that uh, is very tough to get rid of mm-hmm. because when you're watching or or listening to your favorite artist or looking looking at your favorite actor promoting something and still being the hero of the film and still we being the over. hero of the song they they think it's okay mm. we are heroes of our life and we can do this yeah i so, get yeah, yeah I mean, people I, overlook uh, those things uh, because they are their favorite artists they do yes that. Yeah. Yes. So so I was I was I remember I was in Ambala a little while ago and I was discussing this with a lot of my friends. But but their simple answer is that that's what sells. So so I was sitting there with no answer to that because I was like whether it sells or not you need to have like a social responsibility exactly. of what you're putting out. and for me that's important as an, as an artist if it's not for others it's okay i'm not taking names and i'm not taking mm-hmm. you to court it's absolutely mm-hmm. okay but for me as an artist i'm 100% sure that i would not be um, making songs on violence guns xyz good 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 so- i have a song it's called sutte varga that also talks about how bad cigarette is and how yes. toxic it is yes. Yes, it yes. doesn't promote cigarettes. Yes, I mean I heard the acoustic version as well. I love oh, it. Oh, cool! Did you like it? <laughs> yes, I loved it. Awesome. I loved it. Thank you. So, I mean, if you could collaborate with any international artist, who would it be and why? Are the Indian artists who live in uh, uh live abroad work? <laughs> yeah, that that too would work. I want to work with Ali Sethi first oh. of all. Yeah. I want to work with Diljeet. I want to work with uh, Karan Ojla. I've been thinking of uh, th- his songs all the time, and my friends, a lot of Punjabi friends, are like, "Your Karan ke saath gaana aana chahiye tera." Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you like, collaborate with these guys. Yeah, of course. I want to do want to do a song with Hani Singh. Right. Uh, all these artists don't live in India, and we miss them. Right. <laughs> But uh, majorly international artists, बोला आपने. I I really really love uh, Ali Sethi, and I really right. love Asim Azhar. I love Momina Mus. I'm. I love uh, oh, Momina oh. Mustasen. Um, yeah, and oh. and my all time favorite is Adele. That's far fetched, but <laughs> she's she's the queen. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah. Yeah. One day. Any day. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> It's it's yeah she's the queen yeah there's no uh, मतलब उनके गाने are by the way all, always uh, on my playlist. I, I mean I'm listening to Easy. Like on repeat. So finally, uh, before we end, I we would like to you know uh, listen to any of your recent songs that you can sing right now. Oh, can, cool! <laughs> you know it can be kind of can it can be anything. Well, let me do Chai Da Inich. I love Chai Da Inich. Yeah, I, I love that song as well. <clears throat> okay. Pyaar Chai Da, Yaar Chai Da, Dunia Di Rona Kavi Sari Chai Di Changa Kam Chai Da. चाहिदाही Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank so you. yeah, that's it from my end. Thank you so much for your time, Ragni. I mean, it was pleasure speaking with you and learning more about your exciting journey. And he's wishing you all the best for the future for your concert and for your EP. And uh, I'm manifesting that you get to perform. Do you get to collaborate with Sunidhi Chauhan and Adele someday? Wow! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for having me.